Hello! So let's do this quick tutorial about how you might want to export things from Photoshop. There's lots of different ways to export from Photoshop. There's a few little tricks that you might not know. So obviously you've made this piece of art and you might go to export, click export as PNG, export as, you get a load of different options here and you can pick the size and whatnot. You've got export preferences which they change the quick export options so you can change that to default to a jpeg etc obviously you won't get transparency on jpeg um, artboards to files that can be really handy if you've got multiple artboards artboards to pdf export for aero not sure it's a new one on me i'll have to look into that if you're using layer comps which can be really handy that you can export those to files they can get a bit tangly with larger files, but they are very useful. Layers to files, that's also good. Okay, let's uh, just go through how maybe I would package this up in some ways. Um, specifically for exporting this screen as multiple sizes. Now I might say this is the logo or this is the motif, let's call it. And I might uh, convert this to a smart object. So let's just call that motif and I can hit export as PNG. Now this is going to drop that PNG in a folder local to the saved file. So if I haven't saved this file, I should do that before, otherwise the, the actual saved files will be somewhere hard to find. And I'll just call this BG for background. So I can export that as a PNG and it appears in there as well. Cool. So obviously smart ob objects are really handy for this because I could do funky things with this one, but then when I change the original, say I wanted to add another circle in there to make it more ugly, um, there we go, it's reflected on both the smart objects going to undo all of that. Actually, quite like that, but uh, yeah. <coughs> right, so I can export these as before. Click export as PNG, but here I can also click on the artboard, give it a name. Here it's called screen one. I'm going to call it screen one 1920 because it's a 1920 by 1080. If I click using the artboard tool, click on the name, See, it just switches when I click on the name. I've got all my options for my artboard up there. Background is set to white at the moment. You might want to set that to transparent if you're exporting. So say, for example, we wanted to export just the motif on its own artboard. It's disappeared there. There we go. The background sets transparent on that. Just for neatness, I'm going to change that to 512 by 512. It's a good texture size. And call that uh, 512. Okay, so I could s select both these artboards and go export as PNG or export as, and it will export those two artboards. Motif at 512, so 512 by 512, and obviously the screen, the whole screen. So that can be really handy if I wanted to do uh, multiple sizes of this screen, for example. Um, I might want to do variants on this screen, maybe 1920 square. Um, now I've kept these assets live, so they can be scaled nicely. But it'd be a quick way to now export that. We've got the 1920 square screen now as well.
So there are fancy ways to create image assets in Photoshop. You might want to use this at some point. If I change the name of a layer that I want to export to give it a file extension, so .png, um, and let's say, for example, I want to export it as a, uh, a JPEG as well. I'll do a comma after the PNG, comma, space, motif.jpg. It's pretty small. And then I turn on generate image assets. Now, as soon as I do that, it pings out a JPEG and another PNG to here. Now, the cool thing and the annoying thing about this is if I change this at all, it will create a new asset. So you have to be careful when you're pushing things around, just figuring things out. I think there's a pop some straight in there that it doesn't uh, keep on overwriting assets that you you actually want to keep. So this one, the 512 one, is not set to. It's not written with a a file extension motif copy but maybe if I did 512.png you would see there it is it's updated exporting from that artboard so it will have the added space around it and it will be exporting it at 512, 512. if I went in and let's just get rid of the PNG there and put it on here motif 512 put the .png there, here we have the 512, but it's exported it at the size of the smart object, not the art box, art board. So it's worth keeping in mind that if you want to export things at a specific size. Okay, best practice to turn off generate image assets if you're not using them. Um, as I said, it will overwrite things sometimes when you're not expecting it okay guys hope that helps